Come on, mate. Here we are, all stripped down. Number one to six. That's the internals. Very clean, actually. Yeah, nozzle nuts. Yeah, they'll, they'll be good. Be able to use this again. And even the faces of the injectors. Not too bad. And your nozzles. Well, none of them are blue. Actually, none of them are discoloured at all. So, running very clean, obviously, obviously, your EGTs are perfect. And um, what I really notice with yours, your know, O-rings are nice and soft. So, I think you need to do a bit of a video on your, um, your oils you're using, because, um, yeah, nice and soft O-rings. Just with all the ones I get, the O-rings are rock hard, they just break off. So, that's them. So, we'll um, now put them in a chemical solution. And I'll probably soak in there for three to four days. Then I'll run them through the sonic cleaner. And then run them over the buff and polish them all up. And then you'll watch me petrol clean them. And then we'll, um, we can see the nozzles in them. And we'll see how far out the springs are. And they don't tell me if I'm watering new springs or not. Righty. Go, and that's them in the solution. What the solution um, clean does... It cleans all the carbon deposit, eats them away. Um, diesel varnish. So when they come out of the end go for the sonic cleaner, they'll be pristine clean. There'll be no varnish or impurities on the injectors. Injectors out of the blue, blue mill. All cleaned up. Sonic cleaned. Chemical cleaned. Washed and petrol about three times. Assembled with new DSL nozzles. Nice crack, beautiful, hold, reasonable pressure, and unfortunately, unfortunately they're not going to make it up the pressure, all six, a 680 psi light, this one's real light, this one can't even get up. Come on, old girl. Let's get you. Can't even get you up to 2,000. Yeah, so this one's 1,800. Cracking 1,800. Absolutely rubbish. One, two, and three. They're cracking at 2,000. Four and five are cracking at 2,200. Unfortunately, minimum is 2,600 or 2,580. Um, so, what do we do with those? Rubbish, really. They're not worth repairing. By the time I hunt down springs and put a spring cut in them, and you spend about 16 hours trying to set them up, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything with them. So, they're done. Retirement for these injectors. Strip them down and put the nozzles in something else. Yeah, unfortunately, they look nice. But, no good. No good.